Population 28,000. It's a town, no matter where you go, everybody knows your name. Oh, what's up? How you doing, Mr. Griswold? I grew up here, just another girl in town, hanging out with my friends, working at the Hollywood theaters. It's been quite a year. You're coming to Hollywood! No! Kelly Clarkson. My first job was the movie theater, and I thought it was kind of cool that my first movie was coming out, so I asked if we could have it in Burleson. And this is my hometown premiere. Well, I've had such a great support system, yeah, coming from Burleson. It's really the best city to, to raise kids, and I, I plan on trying to raise mine there. This is my mother, and this is my brother. This is Jeannie Taylor. Hi. And this is my brother, Jason Clarkson. This is the actual apartment that we lived in, right? Correct. Right, correct. And here it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go get in the pool. It's kind of funny just to see how many times we had to move, you know, because of financial reasons or whatever. And now we actually own homes. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> All right, so this is our pool. And when me and my brother were young, we thought this was the coolest thing that we had a pool in our apartment complex. I was such a dork. Kid. She was always singing, always singing. Singing to all the guys Jenny, in the pool. In the pool. Yes, and, and I just now found out that you used to sneak into the pool when you weren't supposed to. Yeah, and I kind of did that too. <laughs> it says it says kids under you know whatever age can't come, and we used to do it anyway. We so, grew up in a really good neighborhood. This neighborhood had a lot of kids in it. Yeah. From my age to her age. Had a lot of good. All people in between. In yeah, my two best friends lived here actually. My yeah. friend, one of my best friends lived like over there, and another one lived uh, down there. So we always were hanging out. Burles is definitely like a big family town. Like I, I think. My family and another family, one of my friends is like the only family that actually is divorced. <laughs> like everybody's married, everybody's a soccer dad, you know, they coach the team. If you follow me, we're going to show you the, the other apartment. We lived in another apartment here and I used to put on little talent shows. And I actually used to sing like Disney songs, like any Disney song from this, <laughs> from this balcony. Quit laughing! <laughs> I used to sing Disney songs to anybody that would hear. I would just sing on the porch. My sister's going to kill me, but I don't care. I used to have to share a bed. We had to share rooms with each other because, you know, small apartments. And it was tiny. And she used to kick me out of bed, like, in her sleep. Like, kick me. And I used to, like, fly out of bed. Like, and hit the wall and just lay I would finally just started sleeping on the floor at one point. Oh, I think you're exaggerating. Oh, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I don't, I think, that I'm exaggerating. I, think I don't think Mom slept with her. I had to sleep with my sister. <laughs> my mom was, you know, single parent. She was. She worked um, as a at a daycare center, putting herself at the director of a daycare center, putting herself through college to become a teacher. What she'd always wanted to do while raising three kids. So that was really tough. We kind of had it a little tough there. When they say it takes a village to raise a child, I mean that's pretty much the way it was. I mean, the whole there's there's so many people in Burleson and the in the surrounding areas that help contribute to where she is now. I mean I couldn't take all the credit for it. I and mean, there's a lot of people. So it's going to be nice to, to have it here to where all these people can, you know, come and... Why are you laughing? <laughs> are you doing... <laughs> all right, so right now we're going to go visit uh, my old high school and some of the teachers. And we're going to leave these couple lovely people behind. And we're going to see them um, for the premiere that we're going to get ready together. So I guess we'll see y'all later. Bye. Thanks for having us. School, Burleson High School. This is Lindsay and Ashley, my friends, and this is Mr. Richard Crumble. This is my principal, and we're gonna go check out the school. Okay, come on. My friends are trailing behind because they're shy. They're camera shy. School. Ah! <laughs> Burleson. It's kind of like Cheers. <laughs> Everybody knows your name. How you doing, Mr. Griswold? That's Mr. Griswold. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, oh. how it's a buzz cut. I know. Loving the buzz. I like people that, you know, you're going to tell me exactly what you're thinking and you're going to, you're not going to lie to me. Nobody really blows steam in, in Burleson because no one really cares. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see Mr. Glenn, one of my choir directors in high school. I think somebody just ran from the doors. Hey, it's Mr. Glenn. Mr. Glenn! 
How are you? Good, you? Good, good, good. good. I started off with your wife. I started off with Miss Glenn. She was actually the one that got me in choir in like the seventh grade. The choir actually got me through school, if you want me to be honest. Like, yeah, I loved, I had really good teachers. I was a very creative kid. I, I wasn't always on time. They were so patient with me because I was, it wasn't that I was a bad kid. It was just that I was always, I like to talk and I like to tell people what I thought. <laughs> Everybody, let's let's thank Mr. Glenn, Mr. Collin, all my choir directors for my <laughs> diploma.